about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Are we blessed? First it was fragrance. Listen. Then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. That is how I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. So by that formula shall I be saved. I will call upon him not by saying God come and help me. I will call upon him by praising him for what he did yesterday. And I will use it as a secret arsenal to be saved from my enemies. To triumph from one level of grace to the other. Jesus multiplied loaf by giving thanks to the Father. Watch this. I wish I had time. Did you know that even when he went to the tomb of Lazarus, when you read John 11 from verse 35 down to 45, you will find out that after weeping, he went to the tomb and he said, Father, I give thanks. So that is how the grave opens. God is speaking to someone. You are trusting God for resurrection of things that died in your life. It has to first be alive before it multiplies. But there are times that it's already dead. Your first assignment is to bring it back to life before multiplication. The same secret that brings resurrection is the same secret that brings multiplication. Thanks. Thanks. Lord, I thank you. If you thank God as much as you pray and petition God over your request, you will not need to bring many, many requests again. Father, thank you. From morning till night, can you fast and pray and your prayer project is just thanksgiving. Lord, I want to thank you. You count your blessings. You name them one by one. And the writer says it will surprise you. If you are not surprised, you are not done counting. Keep counting. Keep counting. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh, 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 my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh, my soul, worship His holy name. gratitude and thanksgiving in luke chapter 17 we'll not turn there for the sake of time luke chapter 17 from verse 19 the bible talks about 10 lepers are we bible students the bible talks about jesus who was passing and he met 10 lepers and they beckoned on him to have mercy upon them and he showed them mercy he said stand up go show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went suddenly they found out that the signs and the symptoms of leprosy had gone but in the midst of that the people went their way showed themselves to the priest as the lord demanded and left but there was one person pay attention there was one person who returned back it's amazing that Jesus was in a hurry passing. But then he returned back. And when he did return back, listen carefully. When he returned back, he met, the one, he met Jesus standing there. Jesus was passing. 
and waiting for gratitude he remained there and when he came he said were there not ten of you what suddenly happened to the nine and he says since you have returned go your way you are cleansed to be cleansed means that from the blood you may be healed but to be cleansed means that wholeness comes back to your hand multiplication multiplication at the instance of genuine heartfelt gratitude let me show you two scriptures and then we we'll pray psalm 50 verse 23 psalm 50 and verse 23 psalm 50 and verse 23 he said whoso offered praise glorified me and to him that orders his conversation aright i will show the salvation of the lord who so offered praise as a way of acknowledging me as a way of saying thank you lord for your faithfulness as a way of saying thank you lord for your goodness your mercy for all that you have done in my life he says he brings glory to me and as a result he will keep seeing my salvation he will continue to see my salvation there is no limit to a grateful man physically naturally grateful people do not remain at the same level believe me grateful people always make advancement it's difficult to say no to a grateful person there are many of us who have received all kinds of helps and blessings from people from men of god from business colleagues, from destiny helpers. And many times we forget to acknowledge them until there is another need. Then we quickly send a five minutes text, just saying, God bless you. Five minutes later, sir, just to remind you again that the rent issue is here. If you have to wait for a pastor's appreciation day or pastor's appreciation service, to tell your pastor thank you let me tell you thanksgiving is most powerful when there seems to be no occasion for it when there is an occasion for it it sounds very mechanical it looks very mechanical that one day for no reason you come before your pastor and say sir i just want to appreciate you and usually you say oh no that's what is, is the and insist and say pastor please hear me just to say thank you this is a token of my gratitude to you and to your wife i remember when i came to this church i came confused the only thing i had in my life was the wisdom to find this place i knew nothing about the principles of life but under your leadership under your mentorship look what god has done i have come to say thank you there are many members in this church in this center the good land and across the entire centers but i assure you your thanksgiving like like a photographer it will edge your face to the heart of your pastor when he sees you he will remember you thanksgiving the key to multiplication but profitable thanksgiving like i've taught comes when you surrender when you find rest and then you begin to thank him thank him glorify him acknowledge him I'm not telling you what I don't do. These are mysterious, powerful principles. We had our father yesterday talking about acknowledging God. In fact, I think he read from Malachi chapter 1. Malachi chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2. Let's look at it. Malachi, very powerful scripture, instructive for the priests. It says, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, verse 2. Okay, verse 2, chapter 2. Chapter 2 from verse 1, I meant to say, chapter 2 from verse 1 it says and now O ye priests this commandment is for you and he has made all of us kings and priests unto God it says if you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name saith the Lord of hosts I will even send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings to curse your blessings means to multiply it by zero Greatness times zero is what? Intelligent people. Impact times zero. And zero that comes from God is real zero. There is no deliverance that can take it away. This is not a demon. 
I will send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart. You started by giving God glory. The company started increasing. You started by acknowledging the Lord and then you got to a point where now God gave you a global voice and you said, Lord, you are stealing my stage. Get out of the way. Allow me have the moment to enjoy myself and he says, your will respected. When he steps out, just when people begin to look at you, you start going down in their presence and they say, so why did you call us? You called us to show and to learn a lesson from you that anything minus God is zero. Please hear me. The temptation to drive God out of our success is why many people do not last. Can you stand before the whole world and get down on your knees while they are watching you and say, Jesus, this is for you. Let the world see and know. Oh, but we know that you worked hard. We know that you did this. It is unto the Lord the praise of of his majesty for except the lord builds a house he didn't say it will not be built he said they labor in vain to labor in vain means to do what should produce results but it still does not produce results i made up my mind as a principle that i will be ever thankful ever grateful psalms 30 and verse 11 psalms 30 and verse 11 pay attention psalms 30 and verse 11 thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing this is someone's prophecy it says and has put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness next verse it says to the end that my glory may sing praise unto thee and not be silent O lord my god i will give thanks unto you how long how long? Global impact, how long? Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Ah. And I will not be silent i will always worship you let it be a commitment from the depth of your heart for as long as i am breathing i will always Sing it one more time. And I will not be silent. For your goodness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness. The final key that supports thanksgiving is thoughtfulness. You never become a grateful person until you can think. The thoughtful are also the grateful. When you think of his deliverance, you think of the mercies of God. The songwriter says, when I think of the goodness of the Lord, and all that he has done for me, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. You must learn to be thoughtful. Shut your door and just sit down. Lord, this is what you have done. Thank you. You delivered me from a plane crash. Thank you. Yesterday, while we were celebrating Pastor Yemi and this that he had done, I sat back there and I saw the letter that he wrote and looking at his life 
and I began to think about my own life. I said, ah, but only a fool says there is no God. I still remember myself in one room. I still remember myself kneeling down before God in one room. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will return from a meeting drenched in rain. I will climb bike and return back and say, Lord, thank you for the honor and the privilege to even serve you. To be called your servant is an honor that nothing else can take. And I did not know that heaven, my gratitude was like a student at a defense, ready for a promotion. And God says, even in the rain, you can be grateful and you can be thankful. Let's go to the next level. May God always find you on your knees. May God always find you on your knees. That whatever it is that makes you too big to roll on the floor, sincerely before God, you pile all your CAC papers. I have 26 companies. Put them all on the ground and roll before them. And say, Lord, I'm doing this before you. And everybody looks at you and they feel, they feel embarrassed. And sometimes they may ask you like they ask David, why are you disgracing yourself? He said, I'm dancing before the God that took the kingdom from your father and gave me. Because if he can take it from your father and give it to me, he can take it from me and give to another person. Oh, that if you will not lay it to heart to praise me, I can raise up stones. I can raise up stones. May my life never become a vacuum. May my space never, let it never be written in the space of my destiny. Empty. That is bishopric, let another take. Because you have not laid it to heart to thank him. This is a powerful word for many of us. This is why for one, two years now, your influence stagnated. Your results stagnated. It's not because you are backslidden. You suddenly forgot the euphoria of the applause of men brought you to a point where it's now embarrassing to go back to the same altar that lifted you drive any relationship out of your life that makes god secondary that begins to promote you above god tell them hold on thank you for this applause but let me tell you this i am what i am today because of the sure mercies of the god of david and with our hands lifted up we will worship our king and with our hands lifted up we come before you rejoicing with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell them I have a few minutes before I pray for you we are going to spend the next five minutes I'm going to leave you alone with your creator please cast your golden crown I know that you are a veteran in business you are a veteran in ministry but for the next five minutes I want to leave you here at global impact I don't know whether it's a song you will sing I don't know whether it's your tears that will do the singing I don't know whether you will roll on the ground but I want you to remember in one minute the goodness and the faithfulness of God you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever go ahead and thank him don't be embarrassed let the world watch you worship him that's how we rise in this kingdom that's how we multiply oh we acknowledge you oh god the doer of great things over global impact church think about your life think about his lifting when you didn't have a job when you didn't have a spouse when you didn't have a child
majesty your majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty-handed but alive in your hand say the masala balada balada majesty cry before your maker majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty forever i am helped by your love in the presence of your majesty forever lifted by your love in the presence of your majesty you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you so in my life in my life be glorified be glorified in this house be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you go ahead don't be tired you're not wasting your time how can i be ashamed to tell the world you lifted me i'll be here thanking you all of the days of my life you find me here thanking you all of the days of my life no matter how much you lift me i'll be here saying thanks all of the days of my life i'll be here saying thanks all of the days of my life I praise you I praise you oh Lord I praise you I praise you oh Lord in my life Lord I see what you're doing one more time Lord I lift my hands in praise of your name I lift my hands in praise of your name Haribiti Arabata Hey la topiju Haribiti Arabata Hey la topiju Oluwa You are my strength when I am weak you are the treasure that I see 
You were my all in all. Just one minute and we're upstanding. I'm seeking you as a precious jewel. Not to give up, I'll be a fool. You were my all in all. I lift my hands in worship as I sing glory to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. Can you thank God in one minute for Global Impact Church? Thank God for his servant, Pastor Yemi Davids. And his blessed wife the leadership it takes God to come this far it takes God to come this far it takes God to last in ministry we lift our hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come I bow my heart to the great I am who can compare with you Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For Global Impact Church, thank you. For Pastor Yemi Davids, thank you. I had the honor to be here when it was just foundation. God's servant led me through the span of this space. I saw it. Just foundation. But look what God has done today. Oh, come let us adore him. Will you come let us adore you? Oh, oh, come let us adore you, Christ alone. For you alone art faithful. For you alone art faithful. For you alone art faithful, oh, Christ alone. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. You are good. You are good, Jesus. My God, you are so good to me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 you are so good to me. Jesus, you are faithful to me. In all circumstances, oh, oh, oh. Father. If ever we are tempted to think it's a waste to cry before you, if ever we are tempted to think it's ego stinging to roll before your presence, teach us again the wisdom of gratitude and the power that it provides 
as far as multiplying results is concerned. Lord, tonight, it's an honor to lead your people as we present to you everything that has refused to grow. We present to you our finances. We present to you our families. We present to you our conditions. We present to you the lack of promotion. We present to you the joblessness. We put everything in our alabaster box and we break it before you. And Father, we declare that in your presence, the same way the rod of Aaron without a root and not connected to the earth, it's still bordered. For everyone who has given you thanks and praise, Lord, beginning from today, beginning from this morning, this afternoon, let there be strange multiplication in their lives. Some of you, it will be an avalanche. You are stepping into strange levels of financial overflows. I speak to you by the Spirit. I know when He speaks to me. For some of you, God is saying you have, you have rolled away the reproach in your life. By rolling before me, that reproach is taken from your life forever. For some of you, you have rolled away causes, ordinances of divination that have seemed to peg everyone around your family. For some of you, you have joined God's servant to roll on the ground before God, to kneel on the ground, to bow your heart, to be in a state of reverence before God. I pray for you, whatever must shift in your life, we shift it now. Whatever must be taken out from your life for you to rise, I declare it taken out now. If God builds this church, may he build your house. If God habaraka toshke lebarata, if God built this church, may he build your reputation may he build your influence may he build your business may he build your ministry may he build your family may he build your children the building started and it did not finish if god was alpha omega over this house then i declare if he has started as alpha in your life may he also be omega Every uncompleted project in your life, physical building, relationships, destiny, ministry, the grace for completion, the finisher's anointing, may it rest upon you now. The same way your pastor lived to see this project, you will never start anything and leave it halfway in death. Now I speak to everything that has refused to grow. In the name of Jesus. One of the characteristics of living things is that they grow. Whatever has refused to grow. I bow my knees before this altar. And I command it grow now. Grow now. For every door that needs to be opened, every gate for your next level, I speak to it. Efata, be open now. Efata, be open now. Gates of influence, be open now. Gates of speed, be open now. Gates of abundance, be open now. Please rise up on your feet. May it never be said you had a better yesterday. And hear me please. For everyone who has contributed in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make this project a reality, I cannot but speak over your life. Everyone, I know that people have labored in prayer. People have sown seeds and are still sowing seeds. 
into this project i stand in faith with pastor yemi david and his dear wife the leadership and in the name of jesus under this corporate anointing we declare that hand that gave is the hand that will hold what multiplies in the mighty name of jesus christ father from today and forever may this church and everyone connected to this grace now and as many as the lord will bring everything in and around your life begins to multiply exponential multiplication that the testimonies that will begin to be shared from this altar will be testimonies of strange multiplication in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i have two minutes and i'm off the stage there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle i desire multiplication but i'm not even alive to myself i know that whilst attending this conference i have heard speaker after speaker but i know that i need jesus christ i do not want to just get things and at the end of my life lose my soul you came to church and those who are saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire i do not want this conference to end without my life experience in order wherever you are we just have one minute for you we have to work with time please wherever you are i'm going to count one to five jesus is speaking to you while we were worshiping for you he was saying the only way you will tell me thank you is to hand over your entire life to my influence wherever you are as i count one to five finally win that war i like you to run like there's fire on the mountain these two categories of people i like you to come and stand in front if you are coming run quickly one global impact are we celebrating salvation two run to jesus don't allow anybody stop you three i give you my heart lord i give you my heart i give you my soul keep coming don't be ashamed i live for you i love every breath that i take please don't kneel because of space have your way global impact starts with global harvest come and you who are following from any nation any center watching or will be watching by way of internet television hear the word of the lord he is calling you to start a rich and a meaningful relationship from where you are you can begin a genuine relationship with jesus the bible declares that if our hope is only in this life it says we are of all men most miserable you are here you are still saying apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them if you are not sure it's a sign that you are not saved i appreciate all of you my dear brothers and sisters it's an honor to stand on behalf of pastor yemi davids to receive you and welcome you to the kingdom and then to this family of faith now very quickly i want to lead you to make this noble decision look up please everybody let me have your attention the bible says ye must be born again ye must be born again that after this encounter you will never forget this day you will write this day and for the rest of your life you will know and you will believe from your heart that you made jesus lord are you ready to pray that prayer please lift your right hand high to the heavens and i want you to say this after me you're not reciting a poem jesus the king and the savior is here say after me lord jesus some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears he's here for you say lord jesus i have heard your word i believe that you are savior i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for my justification right now i declare that jesus is my savior 
is my Lord, is my King. I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life into my spirit. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of hell and the grave is broken over my life. I receive the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that from today till forever I am a child of God amen keep those hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven I declare that you are partakers of the life of God and in the name of Jesus I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit that you will be built you will be established in righteousness until you become mighty vessels for the kingdom the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.